Welcome to this video lecture. This is Mark Scythian, FAA licensed aerospace technician, airframe power plant and avionics certified. The date today is July 5th, 2016. In this two part video lecture, we will be discussing how to calculate an automobile diesel piston engine's brake horsepower, foot pounds torque, and brake thermal efficiency. Of course, as mentioned in other video lectures, the four-stroke automobile diesel piston engine will develop maximum torque at very low RPM. This is due to the fact that the compression ratio and brake mean, brake mean effective pressure on the piston surface area is much higher than it is on the four-stroke gasoline piston engine during every power stroke of the four-stroke diesel piston engine. In this particular case we are going to focus on the 2015 Volkswagen Jetta technical specifications Note that the indicated horsepower for this particular four-stroke diesel piston engine is the total power involved in the engine, including the power lost to keep the engine running, and the usable power at the crankshaft in the form of brake horsepower. What we must focus on is the maximum torque and foot-pounds at a given RPM, which in this case reaches its maximum torque rating at substantially lower RPM compared to a four-stroke gasoline piston engine. We're using diesel fuel with a heat energy content of 19,300 BTU per pound and a fuel density of 7.1 pounds per US gallon. Highway MPG at 70 miles per hour, 45 miles per gallon and uh, curb weight 3296 automobile drag coefficient 0.3 and will approximate a projected front frontal area of this particular automobile at 16 square feet of course you know from previous lectures that there are three types of horsepowers involved in all engines and motors there is the indicated horsepower, the sum of the power lost to keep the engine running plus the usable power, the brake horsepower, which is the usable power, and the frictional horsepower, the power lost to keep the engine running. First we're going to calculate the vehicle's maximum brake horsepower based off the maximum foot-pounds torque rating RPM. We start with the brake mean effective pressure in PSI formula for the four stroke piston engine, which is the ratio between the foot pounds torque divided by the cubic inch displacement times 150.8. But we first have to convert the 1968 cc's or 1.968 liter piston engine that we're dealing with almost 2 liter engine. It's marketed as 2 liter but its exact displacement is 1.968 liters which means it has 1968 cc's. When multiplied times 0 0.061 that translates to 120 cubic inches of displacement for this given engine. So then we mathematically calculate the brake mean effective pressure in PSI, which is the pressure exerted on the piston head during each power stroke. 236 divided by 120 times 150.8, that translates to almost 300 pounds per square inch exerted on the piston head during every power stroke. Exactly 
296.6 pounds per square inch under a 16.2 to 1 compression ratio along with heat of air compression ignition cycle. So now we can calculate the brake horsepower using the brake horsepower formula for a piston engine. We then enter the BMEP into the formula times the piston stroke length in feet, piston head area in square inches, number of power strokes per minute, times the number of cylinders divided by 33,000. Since the piston stroke in inches is 3.74, we divide that by 12, 0.31 feet piston stroke. Piston head area is the bore diameter in inches divided by 2 squared, which is radius squared times pi, 3.14. That's 8 square inches of piston surface head area. Number of power strokes per minute. Since it's a 4 stroke piston engine, that would be equal to 1 half the RPM. So since we're using the maximum torque rating RPM of 1750 to calculate the brake horsepower, it would be 1750 divided by 2. At the maximum rated foot-pounds torque, we will have 875 power strokes per minute. Times the number of cylinders, 4 in this case, it's an inline 4 cylinder, 4 stroke, diesel piston engine. So when multiplied out, these five variables divided by 33,000, we get a total maximum brake horsepower of just 78 bhp. So the four-stroke diesel piston engine is torque dominant at a lower RPM, which allows it to efficiently accelerate high payloads, but at lower acceleration. Next, we're going to calculate the horsepower required for an acceleration of this vehicle from rest to 70 miles per hour in a time span of 12.6 seconds. We can use the power to accelerate an object, P measured in watts, which is equal to mass times velocity component squared divided by 2 times T. The M is the automobile's mass in kilograms, which is the pounds, divided by 2.2. The automobile's final speed is the velocity, 70 miles per hour, converted to meters per second. And then the time of acceleration, 12.6 seconds. So when we enter it into the formula, we get 57,873.3 watts of power required to make this acceleration. So the brake horsepower required for this acceleration is the power in watts of the acceleration divided by 746, the number of watts to one horsepower. So 77.6 brake horsepower. So almost its maximum rated horsepower. So assume that this acceleration, during its acceleration, assume that there was a constant RPM of 1800 RPM. So what would be the torque output of the engine during this acceleration? You'd simply take the brake horsepower times 33,000 and then divide it into 6.28, which is 2 pi, times the RPM. So when we do so, we end up with 226.53 foot-pounds, which is uh, close to its rated foot-pounds torque. This is an ideal RPM, reflecting mathematically the time of acceleration to its brake horsepower requirements. We are now going to end part one of this video lecture and then continue to part two of the same video lecture with the same title.